Troy Terry go from having maybe some, not scoring as many goals as he'd like to getting his hat trick tonight? I know he's a goal scorer, right? And it's funny, we had a meeting, we didn't skate yesterday, we had a meeting and just trying to um, tighten up some of the stuff that were, we learned from the Pittsburgh game. And, um, you know, we're talking about leading scorers, you know, Frankie and um, that whole line, Frankie, Strom, and um, Mac T are like three of the top, I think, 30 scorers in the NHL. And I asked Troy, why aren't you, why aren't you in that group? Right? Cause he's an offensive guy. And I think when he skates and he's efficient with the puck, he gets chances. And I thought tonight he did a little bit more of that. Um, I think he can do more of that on top of that. But um, he obviously had a great game. Your team goes up 2-0 really early and then three unanswered, yeah. three unanswered goals from Arizona. Yeah. Can you speak about the resiliency of the team to make sure that they got back in and eventually won the game? Well, honestly, like, you know, like, that's kind of a trap game. You go on the road, you come back, you get in at 3.30 in the morning. You know, don't skate yesterday. That's always one of those, it's always tough going back, right? So, you know, we... we I was worried about legs, timing, you know, your, your internal clock's a little bit messed up. And um, when I think the worst thing is we get up two zip and we think, okay, this might be easy. And I knew like, you know, they're, they're a fast team. Like I think, you know, we haven't played a lot of teams in the league, but they're a super fast team. They play a real, you know, high speed, you know, dynamic offensive game where they got their D up in the play, the D are on the cycles. Half the time the D are in front of your net on the cycle. Um, and, you know, there's periods there where they had the puck, but we did a good job kind of mirroring movement and keeping them out of the middle of the ice. But uh, with the way they play, if you're not sharp and you're not skating, they're going to get quality chances, and they, and they scored on two of them in the first period, and we're lucky there wasn't more. How similar are these two teams? In the style, sometimes it looks like they're the same team going each direction. You know, yeah, I think they have a little bit more team speed. I think they're D a, a, a little bit more offensive. Um, you know, so we don't really have that, you know, without Drysdale, who's kind of our offensive guy, we don't have that same firepower. Um, you know, I think, you know, I don't, I don't know their coaching staff, but I, I think they do a really good job promoting offense. Um, you know, I'm more of a defensive coach in terms of how I teach and how we coach as a staff, and the offense has to build from that. So I think we're a little bit less spontaneous offensively than they are. But, um, you know, so it's an interesting match when we play them. And um, honestly, every time I see them play, even on the pre scouts I'm like, holy smokes, I watched the Chicago game, they won 7-1. It was like scoring chance after scoring chance. So they're they're a really good team. They're going to do a really good job this year, I think. Great. Troy wants to do so much every night for this team. And maybe sometimes you even see it too, or maybe he's trying anything and everything. Or did, did, did tonight... You can correct me if I'm wrong, but did it feel like he maybe simplified things a little bit and it paid off? Well, trying to get him to simplify it, and, and like I, I've talked to him about trying to value his his play without the puck, which means move it and then move off the puck. Um, and I think in, anytime you ask a player that's used to carrying the puck and he's confident beating people one-on-one -on -one to move it and move off it, it's kind of a different strategy for him. And I thought, I thought tonight he tried a little bit more. You know, I've seen the last few games he's dumped pucks in when he doesn't want to dump them in. Um, and I, I, I really believe that when he starts doing that, and he's able to balance out his creativity and his one-on-one -on -one game into chip and chase, like chip to himself and go get it. I think he's going to even gain more momentum offensively. How good is it during this stretch to see the maturity and resiliency of such a young group and also with you guys being a new staff, trying to instill that in them? Well, they have to do it, right? It's, um, we give them the feedback and we create the structure as coaches and then we're responsible for, you know, putting the work and the intensity behind it. And, um, you know, I'm a big believer that your practice execution is gonna transfer into a game. And this is what's interesting is we have not been as sharp as you were. Like you were here at some home games where there was Dallas, Boston, and Carolina. We just were up and down the ice creating dictating the pace of the game, getting possession. These last few games, we haven't had that same pace. So uh, a young team needs practice reps. And um, I think, you know, 
they're starting to figure it out and they're able to transfer the practice stuff. And we stitch it together when we talk to them in the pregames and, the, you know, in the, um, in the meetings. And, and I think they can identify why we do certain things. Um, and they're, they're starting to execute. And, you know, like, you don't, you just don't know there's so many young kids there, you know, how quickly they'll pick things up. But, um, you know, like Leo, Leo had an okay night. He's, uh, he's been way more visible uh, in other games. So he's, he's gonna learn from it. And, and hopefully they continue to learn and they continue to build strength and confidence and uh, we can keep this going. You know, some of us have seen enough of Pablo's games thus far to see what's been transpiring. We see what he did on that second goal there, all over the ice from his own end into offensive end. Does that make you think that the sky's the limit, could be the limit? For yeah, it's game? funny, like, I talked to him today after the pregame skate about being responsible defensively because he tends to get, he's like a puck hawk, right? He wants to puck all the time. and. In the D zone, if you do that, somebody's going to be open. And he had some hiccups the last few games in Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. And I, I told him, I said, don't worry about the offense when they're in the D zone. It'll come to you naturally if you play a good sound positional game. And I think tonight it, he was really good. Like he, he was very focused defensively. And there were moments I watched him, I was like, wow, just as a coach, I turned into a specter and said, this kid's good. He's just a good hockey player. And he's got this demeanor. He's very quiet, but he's got this internal confidence that is impressive. I mean, he's going to be a really, really interesting player over the next couple of years with how he develops and blossoms. You talked about Troy kind of balancing <laughs> playing direct and then, you know, making the extra second, extra play type thing. It, it seemed like Minty kind of has that in his game already. I mean, especially seeing him up top on the power play and things like that. Uh, he seems to be a pretty discerning player. Would you agree with that? Yes. Well, he's got, he pops when he skates, right? And I think he does. Like, okay, Luno, you know, he's he carries the puck. Like, he wants to carry it all the time, and it gets him into trouble. Where Minty will move it, and he'll move off the puck. And that's what I would tell Tristan was, you got to move it. Like, move the puck and then skate off the puck, and you'll get it back. And a lot of the, the players, the defensemen and juniors, including, you know, Zellweger, they get the puck and they carry it for 150 feet. And... Uh, they can't, doesn't work here, right? <laughs> so Minty's kind of figured it out real quickly, and I think that's added an offense to his game. Two power play goals for you guys tonight, and you kept Arizona off the board yeah. on their man advantage. It has to feel good when the special teams comes through for you. Yeah, I thought that, I thought our power play was opportunistic. I thought our penalty kill was really good. You could feel it on the PK. You know, we get, you're going to give up chances, but I thought there was more of a, of a dictation on how we were killing, where the shots were coming from in terms of managing passing lanes and, we had some good clears as well, which bit us before. So, yeah, it was a, it was a good special teams night.